Well, here at home, a guilty verdict tonight for a woman two news investigates found cited for speeding and driving without a license over and over again. Now, we began digging into Billy Skeen's past after she hit an Arcanum student with her car in December. Natalie Tendall of Two News Investigates was there when Skeen's learned her fate. Emotions were high today at the Dark County Courthouse when a judge told Billy Skeens that her driving record shows irresponsibility. That's before she was sentenced to jail time for hitting a 13 year old with her car. It's the first time Kaylin Stevens has seen the driver who hit her last December. I've been impacted by this by not being able to do anything that I've usually been able to do. I wake up with pressure in my head that I start crying from. Kaylin is still recovering from her injuries that included damage to her brain. But on this day, all eyes are on this courtroom and this judge. Billy Skeens is getting sentenced for driving under a suspended license, reckless operation, and not yielding to a pedestrian in a crosswalk. I did not mean for this to happen. I do understand I have a bad driving record. Skeen's attorney, Andrew Pratt, agreed Skeens has a bad driving record, but asked Judge Julie Monin to consider a lesser sentence. You know, she wasn't on her cell phone. She didn't have music blaring out of the car. She wasn't drinking. She wasn't on prescription medication. It's a minor misdemeanor case. Judge Monin said Skeen should not have been driving in that area that day and looked to her record. Two News Investigates first told you that Skeen's had several driving violations, including driving under suspension. So when I look at your actions, I look at a young woman who's 25, correct? who has 19 convictions since 2007 when you turned 18. She sentenced Skeens to her first jail time for driving under a suspended license. Skeens will serve 10 days in jail and will serve time on house arrest. Kaylin's family heard from Skeens for the first time since the accident. Um, I was hysterical when I hit her. The officer can even tell you that. I cried and cried for weeks. I hope that they can forgive me because I don't know that I can ever be able to forgive myself. Now, a spokesperson for Kaylin's family tells me that they'll be filing a civil lawsuit against Skeens because her insurance is not helping pay those medical bills. In Dark County, Natalie Tendall, 2 News, working for you.